Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Merritt again, and today we're going to do module two, lesson nine. And our objective is I can identify and sort shapes. So we've been doing a lot of 2D and 3D shapes. Today we're going to focus on 3D shapes. Now, I have something super exciting for you. We are going to sort some shapes together and then wait for it. You are going to get to go around and look around your house for some of the 3D shapes we've been talking about and show me what you found in all the 3D shapes you explored. I am so excited for our day today. So, like I told you, we're going to sort some shapes into groups and then we're going to let you go on your scavenger hunt and I want to see everything you find around your house that matches the shapes we've been talking about. Okay, so for this activity, I'm going to click on an object, okay, and you're going to tell me as I drag it across the board when to stop. So you're going to say stop. So let me show you. Here's an example. Here's a tennis ball. Did I put it here? Here? Yes, it's a sphere, so we're going to stop. Okay, do you think you can help me? We've got a bunch of these to do before we get off to our scavenger hunt. Okay, I'm so glad I have your help. Here we go. Let's start with this block. Cone. You just told me to stop. Oh, good. That's exactly what I need you to do every time. Look at it. It's a cube. It has the straight sides, the corners, and the six faces. Oh, you guys are good. Go to the beans. This is a can of beans. Is it a cone? Oh, you told me to stop again. Is that a cylinder? Yes, our cylinder has two circles. And remember that rectangle that holds it together? The two circles together? That makes our cylinder. You guys are so good at this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's a what? A cone. Very good. It's got the pointy top. In the circle on the bottom. No. no. Yes, it is another cylinder. The two circle faces and the rectangle to hold it together. You guys are getting so good at this. This dice is an example of a cube. Question. Does our soccer ball, what kind of shape is that? It's a sphere. Very good. It's just a circle. Does it have any faces? No. Oh, does it have any edges? No. Good job. Our, this is a cone. We've got a point on top and a circular base on the bottom. Another what? Cylinder! And what two shapes are in our cylinder? Does anyone remember? Very good. We have the two faces, which are circles. And then what shape holds it together? A rectangle. Oh, 
Wow, you guys are rocking this. This one may be a little tricky. It is a cube. Even though it's starting to melt, it still has the straight sides and the six faces. You guys did such an amazing job with that activity. Now, you can look at these pictures and you can see some things that maybe you have around your house or that are outside that look like a cone. Now remember, our cone has a circular base and a point at the top or a cube, which has the six faces that are all, are they rectangles or squares? They are squares, very good. Six, so it's six squares and that makes a cube. You may have, I know in my house, there's lots of cylinders in the cupboard, like our pantry, um, where we store some of our food. There's some cylinders in there and look at, they use some examples of that there. And that has two circle faces, one on top, one on the bottom, and then one big rectangle that wraps around and holds them together. And then maybe you'll have some spheres. I have a toddler, so we have a lot of balls in the house and stuff like that. So there's some spheres around my house. I want to see what's in yours. So your goal today, there is a Google form for an exit ticket, but the last question on your Google form will say, take a picture of what you found, what 3D shapes you found around the house. And I want you to show me every 3D shape you found around the house. I want to see the cones, the cubes, the cylinders, and the spheres. I'm looking forward to seeing everything that you found, and I'm so excited that you get to see that shapes are all around you. That's such a cool thing. So go ahead, go have fun, and go find all those 3D shapes. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.